Hi, yeah, I am Hannah Malloy and I run a company called Perfect Dog Sense. Uh, and we specialise in teaching people about canine communication signals and calming signals and, um, and training and behavioural issues with dogs as well. And the reason that I became a dog psychologist in the first place, I did a degree in animal behaviour and then I decided to specialise in dogs because of a charity called Medical Detection Dogs who proved that dogs were capable of detecting cancer with their nose. And that blew my mind. So today what I'm going to teach you is a little bit of scent training, how to teach your dog to find absolutely any scent. We are also going to show you how to teach your dog the cue, find it, which basically means find whatever smell you have uh, targeted them to in the first place. Now, it is a bit of fun, but if you got your dog to find a scent pouch and you attach that scent pouch to your keys or to your phone and you lose your keys or phone your dog can be amazingly good at finding that for you and it's a really fun thing for your dog to be doing just before I start training, I wanted to talk to you a bit about this dog nose, which is just incredible. You, in your nose, have six million receptors for scent. The average dog has up to 200 million receptors in their nose for scent. And beagles and scent hounds have up to 300 million receptors. So how can we use this incredible organ? Well, what we're going to do today is a very simple differentiation training exercise. So what we have here is a, just a normal toilet roll tube with nothing in it. I folded in the ends just so that I don't get the smell of my hand coming up through the bottom of it. And in the other one, to show you that you don't need to train your dog just to find food, we have a tea bag. So this one is a lovely peppermint tea bag. It's not a smell that dogs are drawn to necessarily, but we're going to show this dog that this is a really rewarding smell. The way that you would work with a dog that was dealing with medical issues, uh, the, the sick person would breathe into this tube when they were sick, and the dog would smell that smell and when they get a treat. So just like any game of find it, these amazing detection dogs are picking up on the body, on the breath, on the urine of that person. So it's incredibly fun and well worth doing it and I'm going to show you how. First of all, we need to have a dog who understands the clicker. Also, make sure that you're not getting scented toilet roll. You can also just use a plastic cup, whatever you like. So we're going to start training this lovely lass um, to distinguish that this tea bag is what she has to look for. And the process is very, very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show her the tea bag and I'm going to mark and reward her for smelling the tea bag. When she smells the empty cup, she gets nothing. Simple as that. Good girl. Very good. Oh, snatchy, there it is. Good girl. Slip over. <laughs> and the tea bag again. Good girl. She says, am I supposed to bite it? Don't worry if your dog is associating towards interacting with the item. Sit. Good girl, ready? Good girl. Ready? Good. Good girl, that's a good one, she gave a big one, yumsies. Okay, really simple, let's try that again, sit. Good girl, well done. So you're really just looking for that nose to go in there. If your dog is clicker trained, they're really good to quickly understand. Whoops, good girl. So I might give verbal praise for smelling the empty tube, but I'm not going to pay her for it. Good girl, that's a good girlie. Oh, she's a clever one, that is good. Do another couple of rounds, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, what a good girl. Get that one. Ready? Good girl. What's that one? Good girl, and again. Good girl. Very nice, extras. Ready? Good girl. Ready? Sit. <laughs> Good girl. Lovely. Ready? Good girl. You're super smart. So you want to practice this, you know, in short, short training sessions, five, ten minutes um, for a couple of times a day, um, depending on the dog, depending on how, how quick they are, how patient they are. Some dogs get this quicker than others. Good girl, that's a good one. 
Good. Good. Good girl. What a good girl. Be aware that if you're using the same hand to touch the scent tube, then that can start to get a bit confusing. So you want to be careful with your hands. Yes, good girl. Very nice. So that's all we're doing with the canine brain is highlighting a particular smell that is a good smell to look for. Yes. Very good. And what you can now do, just to build this exercise up a little bit, what we're going to do here, um, some of your dogs might like to play with or eat these toilet rod tubes, so you have to make a, a judgment-based decision as to whether or not your dog is going to manage with this phase, but we're going to give it a go with this little one and see what happens. Um, all I'm going to do now is just fold in the ends again of those toilet rolls and remember which one's which. So this is my tea bag and this is my empty tube. Okay, you can if you need to, just make a little mark on one of them. So let's do that now. So maybe the one that has nothing in it, I'm just going to fold the top in as well. Just so I know which is which when they get mixed up. And what we're going to do now is just give her absolute choice, okay? Obviously one of them smells like peppermint tea and the other one smells of cardboard so I'm going to put these two things on the floor and when she sniffs or orients towards the one that has the tea bag in it I'm going to mark and reward her just by choice ready sit good girl do you want to come this way sit very good waiting wait good waiting good waiting good girl okay good girl Good girl. So you notice the one that is that has the tea bag in it is this one here. This one is the empty one. So just watch. You can play with that. It's fine. And she's saying, "Why aren't you giving me anything for it? Isn't this fun? I picked up the thing." And as I say, this is really the early stage of training, so she's still learning. What happens if I pick it up and drop it on the floor? Do you like that? Is that what you want me to do? Good girl. Good girl. And this is a really fun part of training because this is what we call uh, capture-based clicker training. I'm not telling the dog what to do. Um, I'm allowing her to guess. And actually, insofar as dog learning co goes, not rewarding behaviour that you don't want. Good girl. That's a good one. It's really important for the dog. So give them an opportunity to, good girl, problem solve. <laughs> good girl. Come here. Ready? Sit. Should we go and get that back? Wait. Good wait. Good waiting. That was a nice one. Okay. Good girl. Good. That's a good one. Yes. Good girl. Just gonna switch them up. Ready? Come here then. Sit. Good. Wait. Okay. Good girl. So she's checked them now. You can actually see the brain going, no, that's not the one. But I'll try both. Maybe it's good girl. That's a nice one. So we are still differentiating those scents because she's not getting anything for the one that doesn't smell. She might still try and pick it up, and that's fine. Good girl. What is that one? Toosies. Good girl. And this is super hard because it's not food, it's just a smell. So you could use a chamomile tea bag, you could use whatever you like, really. Nice. Ready? Okay. Good girl. Okay, good. Really nice. So that is the simplest way to differentiate between two types of scent. So, 
We're going to teach the dog the cue to find it. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. If I knew that she was highly associated towards this smell, we'll try it and see how far we get. If not, there's a really easy way that you can do it with treats. What you're going to need is just a tea towel or a bath towel, a pot full of treats, and that's all you need. So your dog needs to be able to do a sit and wait to be able to do this exercise to start with. And we're going to give this a go. Good girl, sit. Good. Wait. Good. Whoops. That bum comes up, we say sit. Good. Wait. Good waiting. What a good puppy. And that is going to earn you a click and treat. Very nice. Very good. Sit. Good girl. Wait. So we'll try this first time around with the tea bag. She's only just learnt to differentiate for this particular scent, so I'm not going to be uh, too harsh on my expectations of her being able to pull this off, but if you can, dog, you're an absolute genius. Wait. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that tea bag and I'm going to hide it underneath this blanket. I appreciate she can see where I'm putting it, and this is stage one, allowing her to find it in sight. So I'm going to stand on either sides of this tea towel, nice and simple, and I'm going to say, ready? Find it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Hard, but what we really need to do is not give the dog too many words after we've asked them to do the behaviour. What's this? And then what we need to do is sit. Just reset the dog to do it again. Whoopsie. Sit. Good. It's all well and good teaching your dog to find it, but if they go off finding things without you, um, you're, you're going to end up in a bit of trouble. Puppy. Sit. Good. Wait. Ready. Find it. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Try again. Oh, good girl. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. Sitting. Ready. Find it. Good girl. We could toss that treat away just to give her a bit of exercise as well. Ready? Good girl here. Sit. Ready? Good girl, sit. Very good. Find it. Good girl. Very good. You are a genius. I knew it. I knew it. You've got genius written all over you. What's this? So it's a really nice way to, to take your tea towel back is just to step over it um, because this is an area that you're asking to occupy. It's a completely natural behaviour for dogs. Wait. Whoops. And if they do move, you can just step back. Good girl, wait. Find it. Good girl. And she has spotted that one. So we're going to move it now. We're going to move it to an alternative place. Ready? Sit. Good dog, wait. You've got to know where it is, okay? Wait. Ready? Find it. Mm. She says, it was there, so I can still smell it. And this is the tricky thing with scent work. Good girl. Find it. Good girl. Yes, good girl. So once you've started to use a stinky item, you've got to be aware that scent spreads, okay? So what's very naturally happening with this puppy, she's going back to the old good girl location. I didn't tell you to, but I'm going to give you that one because that was smart. Ready? Come this way. Sit. Good. Ready? Find it. Good girl. Wonderful. Ready? Sit. Wait, so we're going to move it again. Sitting. Good girl, wait. Ready? Find it. Good girl, find it. Oh dear. Ready? Find it. Find it. 
Good girl. It was a very brief over the nose sniff. Let's try that again. Let's try that again and just move position. I'm going to shake that one off. Ooh, ready? Sit. Good girl. Wait. Good waiting. What a good dog. Whoops. Sit. Good sit. Wait. Good waiting. What a champion. What a good girl. So for the camera, it's right here. Ready, puppy? Find it. Good girl. Straight there. Well done. Excellent. You're a smart cookie. Ready? Find it. Whoopsie. <laughs> Yes, good girl, that was a good one. Bear in mind that when you're doing this kind of game, your dog is likely to go through behaviours that usually work. There's nothing wrong with that. All you've got to do is just say, oh dear, take a step onto the mat, reset the dog, and you will suddenly find yourself uh, sit in a much more successful uh, repetition. Wait, good waiting, good girl, good waiting. Ready? Find it. Good girl! She's got that right, that's ace. <laughs> Sit. Ready? Find it. Yes! Winner! What a good girl! Simple as that. Really easy way to teach your dog to find it. A variation on this theme is just getting a couple of plant pots and putting whatever that scent is into one and teach the dog to find the particular scent that you've got. One step further, put that scent pouch on your phone, on your keys and teach the dog to find it. Your dog can also find members of the family. Um, they can find all sorts of things. So I really highly encourage you to use your dog's schnoz. It's an incredibly amazing organism, uh, a part of that dog's body sitting. Um, so give it a go. It's a lot of fun uh, and it doesn't take very long, as you can see. Clever girl. Thank you very much. It makes perfect dog sets to use in a puppy. Good girl. Yes.